Good afternoon, Gwen Owen. How are you? I'm very well, Martin. How are you? It's been I'm a while right. since I've seen Good you. Good to see you. Yeah, been a while. Um, you probably know, need no introduction, but are you okay to introduce yourself, please, for, for people? Yeah, here? well, I'm Gwen Llianna Owen. I manage the 2020 uh, Business Growth Programme and the Ion Leadership Programme at Bangor University. Well, at home at the moment. At home at the moment, yeah. So, so how are you? I'm very well, considering it's we're in week 12 of lockdown, having been working home from home since around about the 18th of March. It seems to have gone by pretty quickly, mm. um, but there are some days that are longer than others. But it's so far, it's been okay. It's been manageable. Yeah, the sun seems to have got, you've got a lovely garden in the background and the sun seems to have gone in over past days, which hasn't helped, does it? But uh... No, it, it hasn't. You know, I think going through the first few weeks um, with the nice sunny weather and you know, the warmth that we had in May, that really helped with actually staying at home. My garden is actually looking quite good. My greenhouse <laughs> is full of plants. Tomatoes are looking good. So I've given it a little bit more attention this year than normally I'd be zooming around in my motorhome, going from here to here every other weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, we're That's all doing fun. things. My garden's the same. We're doing things we don't usually get the time to do is one of the, one of the yeah. few positives from this. So with 2020 and I on then, um, they're usually obviously all over the all over the region aren't they so have yeah. you been managing to keep things going online in the past couple of months well we we had a couple of a few cohorts still running when we went into lockdown so obviously we had to kind of continue and see how we could deliver to our delegates because we had a responsibility to make sure that they were they were getting the program that we had hoped to deliver to them so um, a couple of the ion cohorts had a master class and a final learning and reflection session to go so we've, we've worked with them and we've delivered online and it's gone really well. Um, it's been really well. People have been engaging with the programme and really getting to grips with their assignments and stuff. So that's really good. And the same with the 2020 programme. We've got cohort nine is still ongoing, the level four programme. They've got a masterclass tomorrow and a workshop tomorrow. And cohort eight, they've had a few workshops online. And they're also doing um, their strategic growth project interviews this week. So it's all systems go and um, it's still, it's all doing, it's all happening online and it's working really well. So we're really pleased with that, that we've been able to, to keep on with the delivery. Um, and that now it's all kind of planning for the recruitment and for our September start, which will obviously be slightly different to how we had assumed it would be in September. We're recording again for anyone who's thinking what's just happened is it like a parallel universe my neighbors have just been banging on my on my on my door for the first time in six weeks or something um helping move a fence so you couldn't make it up and there you go so oh, thanks brilliant. for that anyway. so i'm glad that oh, it's managed fine. to I'd give you a hand but you know i know you can't can you? no excuse poor excuse yeah so it's so you've managed to at least have some kind of semblance of, of normality for people yeah yeah, it's, it's been very different, a uh, very different approach because normally our programs are very experiential in nature. So there's lots of activities and stuff. So it's been quite interesting to actually deliver online and try and engage and bring in some activities that we can do. Um, that's been a little bit harder, but we are, you know, we're still working on developing the programs now to enable us to, to have some online delivery for them, especially come September, you know, looking at how the programs will look from then onwards so you know wait to see and uh, watch this space really but um, yeah. changes are happening and it's all been it's been a very good learning curve for us um, for yeah because we're all we're talking about the new normal obviously and how we're all going to work differently <laughs> and, and things like that we're obviously working with you over the past couple of years on on, on the, the pr side of things the, the the response and the goodwill towards ion in 2020 is fantastic and some of the incredible success stories you know they used to love or well, when things get going again hopefully you know the stories we've had about people who've joined it and then the confidence has grown and then you can see them the business grows as a result so it would be great to get back up and running won't it oh definitely and and it's meeting you know we we've set up what we call a coffee and catch-up sessions that we hold every other tuesday the next one is on the 16th of june and that's all about catching up with the past delegates of ion lead 2020 just to kind of engage with them, see what everybody's doing and how they're getting on and, and really to find out if there's any support that they're looking for. You know, they may be looking for something from that another business can provide them. So it's, it's just bringing people together to make sure that they're in contact. And if there's anything we can do further to help, then we're here to, to support as well. 
and even online people like obviously we're using zoom at the moment people have been communicating some so in some cases more than ever because of these online platforms and again one of the big strengths of ion in 2020 was from the responses i got from businesses involved was the fact that other businesses became almost friends for life learn best practice from each other learning what what to do what not to do what works what doesn't work and you built a real community there of north yeah. wales companies and we had the conference was well november now was it that was november yes and uh, we were due to have the awards dinner at the end of uh, may but unfortunately yeah. obviously that had to be postponed we're looking at november but um at this moment in time i'm not sure with social distancing whether we will be able to to carry on with that so we're, we're kind of taking each step as it comes and waiting on the government to tell us, you know, what's happening with social distancing and stuff. So to look out for news on that as well. Um, you mentioned, I missed the last 30 seconds of it because my neighbour was knocking on the door, but you mentioned about the, um, how things might look in the next six months, you know, obviously will be an element of social distancing, but you hope to bring people back face to face in yeah. the early autumn, maybe? Well, we're, early we're to say maybe. Yeah, some online delivery to start off with. And then we've just got to take it when the government releases more kind of opportunities for us to do more face to face stuff. And then that's when we're looking at hopefully bringing it in. But we're, we're in discussion now with both Swansea and Cardiff universities to to discuss how we're going to to move forward. But we foresee that, you know, until the social distancing measures are changed, then um, we will have to do a lot of more online delivery which is quite exciting really, you know, there's so mm. many different aspects that we can include in online delivery and different ways of delivery and stuff as well. So it's just finding out what we can do. We'd love to go back to our face to face to start off with and mm. let's see what happens. You know, so these discussions are ongoing now, so I can't, you know, guarantee what we'll No, happen. not at all. We'll be, no, nobody can. We will be it. delivering in September and um, just looking forward to meeting up with delegates and, you know, trying to support them as much as we can and enable them to get through the programs yeah i mean usually with these questions in quarantine is we've been with business owners and obviously 2020 and i on a, a different kind of organization but what's the kind of feedback you've had from businesses in north wales and, and beyond are they obviously many will be in different positions i think we're starting to see some green shoots um yeah Hopefully what more. i've noticed is there's been so much innovation going on and lots yeah. of diversification people turning around to saying, right, what can I do in this situation? Um, you know, companies developing PPE kits and stuff, mm. which is fantastic, you know, that they don't normally do. And they, they've turned their hand to all sorts of different things. Um, working from home has opened up new, new ideas for them, new ways of working and the reality, well, yeah, we can actually do this. Because that to me at the beginning, because I came back from holiday on the 16th of March, I'd been away from work for a month. I... And um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd been to India and, you know, coming back to work on the 16th, I thought, okay, right, back into it now and here we go, you know, got to mm. settle back into work from the holiday mode. And within three days, I was working from home. It was a matter of picking up my laptop, whatever I needed from the office and setting up a home office. And, you know, for business owners to do that, it's been very, very difficult, I would imagine. Mm. Um, and really, you know, running your business and focusing on, what the business was going to be able to do within this period of lockdown as well um, and and you know the impact on staff on team members and ensuring their well-being throughout it all it's it's really you know it's a responsibility but yeah. um, people are, are adaptable and people have really adapted to this and are working really hard on it so yeah it's all there is some light now coming out at the end of the tunnel for us as we move forward yeah i hope so also you you write and the team obviously you write the content in the qualifications and the programs yourself so that will also probably reflect changes in society going forward won't it i think the change management um modules will be yeah, quite interesting to look at you know and how people have adapted and what they did and what would they do differently if ever hope not we get into a similar situation again you know um what lessons have we learned from this so you know it's really important to keep things up to date and, and valid within the program as well that's really important to us mm. what about you personally we touched upon the, the the gardening at the start there you um have you coped with self-isolation and like i said the weather helped a lot 
the weather's helped me. I'm very much uh, an outdoor person. I like mm. being outdoors. I like. I love the sun. Probably it's not very good for my skin, but you know, I do like it. I can't. You know, I must admit that. But my garden's looking well. I think it looks good. Um, it looks okay. It's green. Um, the tomato plants are looking brilliant. I've got some cucumbers. I've got chard. I've got all sorts of stuff growing in the greenhouse this year, and uh, courgettes and green beans outside. So wow. that's looking good. Exercising as well. I've been walking a lot more, obviously, than some running. But my knees are telling me no, you shouldn't be running as much now, which isn't yeah, good. I'm getting that feeling. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into the exercise in the garden and things. I don't. I mentioned on one of the other ones that I love going out for a run, and I used to go yeah. to the gym a lot. But you're just running into the road because there's big gangs of people everywhere where I am. So um, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, other things. I mean, we we brought a cross trainer to put in the spare room just in case it rained. So it's starting to be used now a little bit more, you know, so that helps as well. I've jumped on that a couple of lunch times. I thought, oh, yeah, I'll do 20 minutes on this now and it helps. And then I'll go out for a walk in the evening. But it's looking after family as well, you know. I've got my mum who lives just down the road from us. Course, and yeah. She's okay. Um, and, yeah, just kind of keeping in touch with everybody. Any Zoom meetings, we have family quizzes every Friday night. I haven't seen my family so much over the last few, few years. Yeah, say, know, yeah. right? I've seen more of my, some, some of my oldest friends are in London and Bristol and areas like that. Yeah. I've seen more of them now than I've seen them in five years. But that's then, fun. So, so um, in the next few weeks, what are the next few weeks looking like then for you? I guess it's just seeing how things go with nationally uh, yeah. and just making plans. Making plans for how, you know, for, for recruiting people to the programme, supporting the businesses that are already on our programs and helping them through with their work and stuff. Uh, and just really focusing on where we're going with the programs in the future now in from September onwards, what our programs will look like and working with the team really, because it's, it's also an opportunity to look at introducing new ideas into programs as well and new things and adapting some of the materials that we have and enhancing. So there's a lot to be looked at and we're, it's, you know, can be quite exciting in some ways. But also, it's going to be very difficult times as well for others, and we've got to bear that in mind with, mm. with what we do. Absolutely. And just support everybody as much as we can. Yeah, there's a lot of positives come from it as well, obviously. So um, yeah. just the people sticking together. With that, I'll let you go. Um, I look forward to seeing you on the other side. And stay and you safe. Too. Yeah, and you too. Thank you, Martin. You too. Take care, Bye-bye.